Hi, Star Season family. I pray that you all are having a great day. I am having a great day as well. I have another message for us from God today, so let me go ahead and pray and we'll get right into the message. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this prayer. You are welcome in this room. You are welcome in this message. Speak, Holy Spirit. Speak to your children and uplift their hearts. Speak, Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, your love and kindness, your everything that you have done for us, everything that you have brought us through and to. We thank you for your faithfulness, God. We thank you for shielding and protecting us. We thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we shall condemn. We give your name praise and glory and honor. Thank you for covering us with your blood. Thank you for covering our families, our children, and watching over us, Lord. We thank you for everything, God. You are faithful. You have been so faithful, God. You are so sweet like honey, sweet Holy Spirit. Speak through me now, sweet Holy Spirit, to give this word to your people, to encourage and uplift their hearts on this journey that you have us on. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I thank you all so much for your all your likes, shares, and subscribes, and comments. Um, keep that going. Share the video, share the video, share the video. Um, when we give... It shall be given unto us, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. So if you know somebody else that this message could benefit, please share it with them. All right, so God has a message for the Twin Flame Connections, Soulmate Connections, the twins. This message is for you all. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I am the messenger. God knows who he's trying to reach. I don't. I'm just being obedient. So take what resonates for you in your situation and leave the rest. All right. So um, God is saying that your divine partners, um, they can't take it anymore being apart from you. Those of you who are are no um, communication and no contact with your divine partner. Um, they're at their wits end. They can't take it anymore. Um, they're receiving downloads and dreams and messages from spirit, from their spirit guides, ancestors, telling them to, they need to make a move. So they have held back as long as they could, but now they're at their breaking point and they can't take it anymore. So God is saying that they're coming in to communicate with you if you have not received a message or any type of communication from them yet expect it soon because they are coming to communicate with you um, they're going to come and speak up speak their truth and be honest with you express themselves through communication and a lot of them had trouble with um, expressing themselves expressing their emotions but God is saying that they are coming to um, bring balance to this situation with you and them. And um, this full moon that we have in Aquarius um, that happened on yesterday is a very, very powerful full moon. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I felt the energy is very powerful. It's, I'm feeling good and rejuvenated, excited. You know, like something good is going to happen. Just feeling at peace and whole within myself. Nothing lacking. Nothing is missing. And so this um, full moon energy is bringing a lot of things to the surface. It's bringing good news, bringing reconciliations, commitments, and everything. So you all make sure you keep stay positive um keep your your thoughts positive and pay attention to your dreams all the signs and synchronicities that the universe god is giving you all at this time so this person is coming to speak their truth to you to balance things out in your 
situation in your relationship. Um, they want to be with somebody who is emotionally centered, is very creative, very joyful, has a lot of passion, and they have a lot of passion and pleasure with you all. You're a healthy relationship. Um, you're in the flow and they love being intimate with you all because it's a twin flame connection. So they are um, coming in to speak their truth. A lot of them are nervous because they don't know what you're going to say, how you're going to react, you know, based on what happened in you all's um, relationship. But they are standing their ground and coming to take action anyway. Whether they get turned down or not, they're still going to make a move and take action. So, um, they've, um, they realize that their family, a lot of their family had a lot to do with you all breaking up. And this could be somebody in their, you know, a blood relative, a friend of the family, a best friend or a brother that they call a best friend or a sister that they call the best friend. Um, somebody that they consider as family was behind the cause of you all's breakup. Um, they wanted them to keep thinking that they had unfinished business with a karmic energy. Um, they wanted to keep them in patterns, you know, back and forth patterns, doing the same thing over and over and over again, repeating the same cycles, um, just constantly dealing with baggage so they're realizing that their family caused them to um cause this separation between you all because they were listening to their family because they thought they had their best interests in their minds and their hearts but they did not they just didn't want them to move forward didn't want them to be better didn't want them to grow and definitely didn't want them to be with somebody who they thought would help them accelerate beyond them. And so they're coming to talk to you and tell you that they realize that they allowed a third party karmic to interfere in you all's relationship. You all were in a committed relationship. They allowed this karmic to come in and um, interfere. And also a lot of the karmic uh, attachments were doing love spells and you know, um, spell work and black magic on you all's divine union and also on each one of you all. And so this um, spell work that they were doing caused them to hook up with this person and they betrayed your trust, re they betrayed your relationship, betrayed your divine union. And they're realizing now that this person was trying to convince them that they were the real true soulmate, but they were not. And their real, your divine partner is realizing that this is somebody that they only should have had a one night stand with. That was only like a fling type, a fling type type of energy um, that they should not even consider to have anything long term with. And they betrayed your um, relationship, broke your heart, and um, they betrayed you and, you know, had you in grief and disappointment. And now they're in grief and di disappointment. You know, the same thing they put you through, they have gone through it because this karmic energy has um, turned on them, which was a snake, and bit them. And um, so they don't want things to be over with you all. They they don't want this your um, connection to end. They know now that you are the empress or you are the emperor. And that they want to heal things with you. They know that you are the starseed energy, um, children of God. That you are, um, they want to be vulnerable with you and tell you the truth. And they want to um, you all to be able to pour into each other. 
wisdom and knowledge to help each other move forward in your divine union and also in your purposes and that they're choosing you. They want to have this happy family with you and in the conflict and they have um, laid things to rest with their family or, you know, friends of the family or whatever. And so, of course, there is a lot of fighting and arguing over their decision. Uh, the karmics are trying to keep them from coming towards you, but they realize that the karmic energy only wanted money. It was no love in the situation. They only wanted to keep them stuck and trapped so they can continue to contribute to all of their, you know, life expenses and their addictions. So a lot of them are having to, um, God showed me where they was paying them off, like um, maybe they're paying the rest of the rent, giving them rent money for the month of August because they're leaving. And um, so, of course, the family and the friends of the family or whoever, they're upset with their divine partner's decision. They're calling them, blowing up their phone, you know, got choice words for them, arguing with them, probably even cussing them out and everything. But your divine partner does not care about what any of, the, any of them are saying right now. They have made their decision and that is final. And they are coming towards you all to... They want um, to meet up and talk to you and let you all let you all know all of this. And they want to take a chance at um, at marrying you. They want to propose and to marry you. They want forever with you. They know that you're the one and you're the divine union that they should be with. And they no longer want to be a player. They don't want to be in this um player energy, playgirl, playboy, lustful energy, just, you know, for the streets, uh, charming everyone or, you know, seeking attention from other women or men constantly. They don't want to be in this karmic energy anymore. They want to um, take a chance and to marry you all. And they're coming to propose, tell you all of this and to propose and they're giving you the money now um, to pay for the wedding, to pay for whatever, whatever you want. They're just giving it all to you so you can, you know, do what you need to do with it to make it grow and, and you all can prosper together. And so God has been telling us that um, twin flames that are meant to be, that are written in the stars, that are written in the land books of life, that is written in your Akashic records, you're going to be with them. And you all, a lot of you all are going to be getting married this year. And, and a lot of us is like, Lord, how, you know, what you are you talking about this year, 2023, that we're in, in time or your your years, because you know God is not in time. He's outside of time. Time is only in our minds. So and we're trying to figure out, like, God, it's, uh, it's August. We about to get married this year, and we ain't even in, you know, contact or communication with these people. So, hey, God, he's the miracle worker. He know what he's doing. He just wants you to have trust and faith in him. And a lot of us have came to the conclusion and have went through a lot of um, tower moments and had to learn a lot of lessons. And we at the point now where we fully trust God, whatever he say, Lord, you said it, we believe it. And that settles it. So we're going to let we're going to be about to see the glory of God before our eyes, um, bringing these things that he's telling us into fruition. We're about to see the Shekinah glory of God and Ooh, thank you, Lord. And um, he's about to manifest it. We're about to see it. Everything come into f fruition. The promises of God coming into fruition, manifested physically before our eyes. So um, God is saying that they're, they're in new love energy, um, in the honeymoon phase you know, childlike new beginning for you all, reconciliation.
they want um, a second chance, want to get back together for a reunion, and they miss you all very much. And also your person is saying that it's really simple. Um, How do they feel about you? They want forever. They want us forever. They want you and them forever. And that they're saying that they have taken the time to heal and focusing on and focus on self-love and healing. And, um, you know, of all the things that they have been through that God has taken them through, God has taken you through what he had to take you through to wake you up and to get you on your right path, on your north node, operating in your purpose. And he had to take them through the same thing to get them on the right path so you all can come back together and complete your divine mission together. And so they're saying that they um, are ready to open up and, you know, be authentic with you about their emotions and how they're really feeling. So this healing process has caused them to, to work on their being raw, being authentic, being real and expressing themselves to you truthfully and authentically. And they're saying that they are sorry. Um, They hate how much they've hurt you. And they're so sorry for all the pain that they caused you. You didn't you didn't deserve any of it. And they're going to be contacting you and communicating with you soon. I'm going to contact you soon. That's what they're saying. All right, starseeds. So that is the message. Um, Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your thoughts. Keep your thoughts positive. Expect power for changes. Um, What God has been telling us in the previous messages It's our time, it's our season, it's our new beginning. It's a new cycle, new chapter. So enjoy. It's time for us to have a treat. We have passed all of our tests and we have moved forward to the next level. So um, you all be blessed, be encouraged. Like, share, and subscribe. And I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourself and others right. Talk to you soon. Bye.